Dana here from Dana Electrical Services and today I'm going to show you how to set up the AX1500 Wi-Fi extender. Alright, so first thing, you want to ensure that where you're installing your extender, you're picking up the internet connection there. So I'm going to put my extender in this outlet right here. So now I'm at this location and as you can see, I am connected to the internet here right this is the this is the name of my main wi-fi or the name of the router right so this is where i will be plugging in my wi-fi extender you want to also ensure that you have your wi-fi password ready so it is this wi-fi password right here or your main wi-fi password so first thing you're going to do you're going to take our Wi-Fi extender out of the box right and then I'm going to pull the antennas out and go ahead and plug it in set these two antennas up here you can set it over you want depending on where you want the signal to focus all right we also have our manual in here right which give us a pretty good detail on how to set up your extender okay so our extender is plugged in you're gonna see a series of lights so it was on blue now it is showing red right okay so next thing you're gonna turn off your data right so you're gonna turn off your mobile data mobile data is turned off and you're gonna go to you're gonna go to Wi-Fi when you go to Wi-Fi you're gonna see a wife a open Wi-Fi name Wi-Fi underscore and four code mine is bbd4 i think it has to do something with your ip address or something like that this one is wi-fi underscore bbd4 right so i'm going to go ahead and connect to that open wi-fi see it's connecting checking the quality of the internet connection and it says not secure so currently it is connected right so i noticed something when i'm setting it up on an iphone once i connected to this wi-fi i see a page pop up right not seeing it now so if you don't see the page pop up here's what you're gonna do you're gonna go to your browser right and in the browser you're gonna type in this ip address right here that comes on your manual right so go ahead don't worry about it saying no internet connection just go ahead and put in the ip address that you see in your manual so this is it right here go and you're gonna see do a little scan and after it finished the scan it's going to find all the available Wi-Fi network so you're just going to go ahead and select your main Wi-Fi right so this is it right here I'm going to select it when I select it it's going to ask you to put in the Wi-Fi password so that's the Wi-Fi password for your current Wi-Fi so you're going to go ahead and put in that but you have to ensure that your pa you have to ensure that your Wi-Fi password is is correct so you must double check it because it doesn't tell you if the Wi-Fi password is incorrect it shows like everything goes through but then when you're trying to connect to the internet you won't be connected so please double check if your Wi-Fi password that you're putting in is correct so that seems correct to me so I'm gonna click next after you click next you're gonna see some information come 
so you're gonna see a wireless name for the 2.4 G you're gonna see a wireless name for the 5 G right because it is dual band and the bands are separated so you can go ahead and change the name if you wish the name that is generate the name that it generates will be the name of your current Wi-Fi or your main Wi-Fi with a dash pro dash 2.4 G and also dash pro dash 5g right so if you want to change those names you can go ahead and change it i let mine stay some other information there nothing else to change also it will also try to use the wi-fi password for your main wi-fi as this wi-fi password also so you can make it stay as the same password or you can change it if you wish right so you're gonna if you want to i normally just let it stay or just for demonstration purpose i mean for ease of access i think it's best to make it stay as the same password so you don't have many different passwords right if you want to have a private network that not everyone else in the host can connect to then you can change the password anyways we're gonna go ahead and click next when you click next you're gonna see some information come up so just to confirm them so it tell you the host router name the extender name for the 2.4 g and the 5 g and it also tell you the extender password so we're gonna go ahead and select and touch connect when you touch connect it's gonna do a countdown all right so we're gonna wait on the countdown while it's countdown the light is still showing red yeah okay so now it counts down all the way to zero with the iphone it normally comes off the screen with the android it stays on it and if you notice our rotor light changed from red to green i've also set it up before and i see the color as blue and the internet works just fine right but when you see green when you see green green tells you that you're good to go right so when you do that now you want to go ahead and connect to your internet right so you're gonna go to you're gonna go to wi-fi right and then you're gonna connect to your internet well i already i already put in my password so i don't have to put it put it in again now i'm connected to the extender right i'm seeing the 2.4 g and i'm seeing the 5g right so just to test it to see like the speed of internet that i'm getting getting 63 megabytes per second which is good all right and if you ever encounter any issue along the way and you might have to and you want to restart the process there's a reset button at the side you're just gonna hold on to that reset button uh, so you're gonna hold on to that reset button and hold it down until you see the light change from green All right, so you see the light change from green to blue then back to green so and then blue all right yeah so now you know that it is reset so when i hold on to the reset but i think it's about nine seconds that will start the process all over again so you can go ahead and um so you can go ahead and start the process all over again uh you can do this any amount of time you want right if you want to move if you want to connect it to a different wi-fi you want to change location connect it to a different wi-fi very easy right very very easy so that is it that is how you set up your ax 1500 wi-fi extender so for more videos like these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at dana's electrical services thank you Thank you.